what's up guys today in this YouTube video um, I got questions and stuff about what how to set up a skateboard and what to do when, when you get a skateboard or start skateboarding so I decided uh, I have to put a skateboard together for someone and I'm going to do a video about it and walk you guys through what to do and things you might need to know if you're gonna start skateboarding get right into it so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a skateboard deck. I have here a Anomaly skateboard deck, which you can get down in the link below at skateanomaly.com. So go check that out if you like this graphic. Also more graphics to come in the future, but this is the only one right now. The first thing you wanna do when you get your skateboard and you're setting it up is you wanna put grip tape on it. And it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but it feels weird the first time. Like, you're setting up your skateboard and you're doing the grip tape for the first time. It's probably not going to look the best because it does take a little bit of practice to get it down good. But it only took me, like, four boards to get it down to where it's not bad. So, just keep practicing and you'll get it. Just up grip tape. It's really just basic nothing extra it's pretty grippy not the most grippy but like it's pretty good for a lot of people but if you wanted something more grippy down the lines then there's a lot of other grips out there that are more grippy or different type of grippy so what you want to do is take this off What you want to do is you want to flip it over. What I like to do is I like to put the edge of the grip tape on the edge of the board so it's less cutting to do. You want to make sure that it's over the whole board. And then you want to Pat it down, make sure it's all the way on. Don't want any air bubbles because those suck. Okay, then once you do that, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do to make it really stay on is I like to take the paper thing that was holding the grip, and I like to rip the piece off, and I set it down right here, and then I'll go like this. To rub it down just because it you can rub it down way easier just slides right around like this it's really effective and you don't mess up your hands when you're trying to do the grip tape get your skate tool which you probably want a skate tool and I don't know what mine is so you want to get one of these which are like 10 to 20 bucks this one is 20 because there's a lot of stuff with it like it has a ratchet, it has a file, which you're going to need, and it has everything you're going to need for putting it together and taking it apart besides the razor. You're going to take this and you want to take it around the edges like this and sand down the edges so it's easier to cut off the excess grip tape. I'm not going to film a lot of me scraping it because that's a weird, uh, it's not a good noise, so just film a little bit of it. You sanded it down, and then you peel this up a little bit so it doesn't like fall flop down in your hand while you're trying to cut it. And you get the razor, and if you're a kid, ask your parent for to help you with this part because it's kind of dangerous. And you're going to cut around the skateboard and cut off all the grip tape. leftover stuff right here and you want to sand it down along the edges so it doesn't <clears throat> so it doesn't come off easier it makes it harder to peel take the so you take a piece of the grip tip that you cut off and you just sand it down pop the holes out right here so 
if you have like a really pointy thing, you could stab it. Or if you don't have anything like me for that, you stick these through right there. Like this. And then you take your truck and then you just hit it really hard and then it goes through. And then you stick them through on the other side. Open now, you have the bolts through the skateboard. You're going to go like this, something like that, and you're going to grab your truck, and if you've been skateboarding for a while, you know, you kind of want to keep your front truck as your front truck for your next board, but these are brand new trucks, so it doesn't really matter, so just whichever one, and I like, I don't really, I label mine sometimes, but most of the time I do tricks that grinding on a certain truck in a certain way, so I know which one is which. So I don't usually have to um, do that, but a lot of people don't do grinding tricks that often, so they have to. If you don't care, it doesn't really matter that much, but it does feel different if you do use your back truck as your front truck for your next board. It just, it's not the end of the world. They will eventually set as your front truck after skating it for a while. You just sort of want to put these on there just enough to hold it onto there so you can get the tool and tighten it all the way. You want to get your tool and then you want to get this thing, put it on the right way, right like that. So that if you have the silver tool and it's a ratchet, then use that. If you don't want to, you can set it to the middle and then it doesn't do it at all, and then you can just do that. I prefer to use the ratchet. So you get it, and then you pick one of these to do, and you just tighten it. Once it's tightened all the way, now it's tightened all the way, you want to go to the one on the other side. You kind of want to go like a star, like you go down this way, then you go up this way, then you go down this way. So if you did the top left, you do the bottom right, just so it evenly tightens it. You don't have to do this, but a lot of people prefer to do it this way. So I got the other truck on here, so now we're going to go to the wheels and bearings part. So with this part, you want to you want to pick a one of these things to do it on. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to take these out. These things are not the end of the world if you drop one, but they do help with your wheels um, spinning longer and you know, just keeping them in your bearings good. Not by like a really big noticeable amount, but it does help. But if you lose them, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so these bearings, pretty nice case. Okay, so you're going to take the bearing and you're going to put it in here. And then you're going to open up the wheels right here that I got. So. That is some freaking powerful plastic. Wow. Okay, so you're going to do one wheel at a time. You're going to start with this one. You're going to stick it in there. You're going to push down. And if you got brand new wheels and bearings, it's going to take a lot more force than if it was with old wheels and bearings. Okay, so then you're going to do that twice with the wheel. You put both bearings on. This on. It's gonna take some breaking in. Like you have to, you have to break in the wheels and bearings and stuff, just like you have to break in the board and a shoe and the shoe. So they're not gonna roll perfect at the beginning, but once you start rolling for a while, then they're gonna break in and they're gonna last longer. Unless you roll into mud and water and stuff, then it's not gonna last that long. Then you stick this back on there like that. And you put the other one on on both sides and then you put it on there you grab your tool again and you find the one that matches and then you tighten it 
just enough to you like you want a little bit of wiggle room but you don't want that much see that's a little too tight so just a little bit of wiggle and then bam now you want to do the next one usually before you even put anything on you just like usually when I set up a skateboard I like to put stickers on them but this board's not for me so I'm just gonna leave these stickers for the person skating the skateboard so if you're watching the video you already know what stickers you're gonna get <laughs> when you're putting the trucks on make sure these things are facing inward or else you're not gonna be able to turn very well and if this is your first time setting up a skateboard and you don't know anything about skateboarding I got a how to ollie video and um, I got other tutorial videos coming up soon um, what else? If you're going to be skateboarding, this is how you set up a skateboard. You probably want a skate tool and a razor, or if you're or a parent to help you cut the stuff. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys in my next video.